so important to stay hydrated to really allow for you to feel good, first of all, skin look good, <laughs> but also, too, for the frequency. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, we yeah. also, we, we go to the gym. We, we, we do a lot of different things. Dove and I, we tend to like to mix it up. So we love to kickbox. Um, we love doing rowing, um, yoga, uh, lifting weights. Um, and we actually love eating. My my wife can really eat. Actually, she's so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> she's We're so foodies. tiny. We love to cook. Stuff. You get in the We way, love to cook too. Wow. You know, actually, actually, the more love we put, so much love into our food, and you can really feel that energy yes. when we eat it. Like when she cooks, I love it Good. more than when I cook. And then when I cook, she loves. It. I think it's just our love for one another, <laughs> like expressed through the food. Yes, I like that. Oh, that's actually great. Yeah. Show, show your way through love. I love that. That needs to be a hashtag somewhere. Love through the belly yeah. or something. I don't know. That's them. That's great to hear that because you know, I, I want to be, you know, have that as part of, you know, your whole energy that you have because I do believe, like you said, you've got your good nutrition. You've got your exercise priority. You know, I believe that makes people feel like, like when people come to you and you've got the energy and you've got, you're not lethargic in any way, you're able to really create that with people if you've got energy it's no good going to someone tired and expecting your client to tell you, oh, it's okay, you know, you'll get, it, you know, get, get yourself energized again. It's really important that you, you're the one that brings the energy and you're the one that brings mm. that, you know, enthusiasm to them to have them thinking, you know, oh, goodness, I could be doing this and looking after myself much, much better. I'd also like to ask you just about um, if somebody was to come on a session with you, how does that look? Tell me about the layout of how that would be with them. So they came to the, I know you can do things online with them, but say they came to your like location and they said, okay, someone's told me to come to you. I'm brand new. My friend came to you. My sister came to you. My uncle came to you. I'm here. What would you, what, what, what would you say to that person coming in for the first time? And I'm not even talking about the stigma side of early where they need convincing. I'm talking about, okay, they're ready. They're here. And they mm-hmm. want to go. How would that look? from the, the, both of you doing that? So that's a good question. And one of the aspects of the question that's important is actually we work with people all over the world because our work is done remotely and it does not require us to be in your actual physical presence, which is really powerful for a lot okay. of people. We have clients all over Europe, in Asia. It's really nice. And so what it really looks like, let's say we're doing a consciousness mentoring and energy sen- a session with you. And we feel that it's very important to have three major building blocks to the work that we do. First of all, we would scan for you ahead of time. What does that mean? We actually see into what's going on with you in your life energetically. Is it a partner? Is it your business? Um, What is happening? And actually, you know, even, even is it your health? Is it your diet? I mean, so these things do, you know, the vibration of that is major. I mean, really, really major. A lot of times it's like keeping people in that very low vibration, making them attract more low vibration things. So when you talk about, fitness and health, that's no small thing. That's a very, very large part of energy. So, you know, so we'll have these sessions and we'll, we'll do three main things. One is we look to the roots. What is the root? And people sometimes think, oh, I got to the root. The root is, you know, and they keep actually focusing on a symptom, right? So when Nicole talks a lot about addiction today, or we'll have overeating, we'll have, uh, you know, any sort of behavior, um, depression, anxiety, all these things actually are symptomatic. So what we do is we go directly to finding the root, where it is energetically, what trauma happened, what experience, and we actually can feel into it even without the client talking to us about it. We identify those roots. We move them energetically through various methods of healing work that we're trained in. Um, through visualization work also helping the client, you know, through it. And we do consciousness shifting. So as you're realizing, oh, my God, this is what's going on. I now have a map. I now have the context. I get it. Like, I get why I'm doing this. Your consciousness starts to shift the reality right there. And then we make sure that you have tools. You need tools. It's great if somebody gives you information. It's great if somebody doesn't give you information and does healing work. But if you have all three, if you have the tools to make new behaviors, if the energy is moved so that you're not bound by those behaviors anymore, and if your consciousness is shifted so that your perception is more and more limitless, 
you know, that is the really kind of key combination. And that is what we do, you know, within a session. And we do layers of work. People have massive breakthroughs with just one session. The truth is, though, it's layers like an onion, right? So you can go as deep as you want to go, and you can go as far as you want to go. No, and I love that. And that's why when I, you know, again, like I said at the beginning of the show, when I think about the guests that I want to converse with on the show, what I, who I think are going to help people listening who do tune in because I'm talking about Create a Life You Love, I want people to have lots of new ideas and different ideas from um, what they do. So I honestly cannot thank you enough for coming on tonight. I honestly can't. It's, it's been as great as I knew it would be. I knew it would be an amazing um, show. The information that you've given has just been so wonderful and um, it gets people thinking about something different but it also gets them thinking about their mindset which I'm really big on gets them thinking about how they feel about things and it you know you've seen what I put on Facebook a lot and Instagram you're worth it I say so often in my week do this because you're worth it and we do have to really look at our self-worth and that it's not arrogant to be that way or selfish or anything like that we've just got this one person that we're taking through this life and we have to really treat that person being ourselves Mm. Mm -hmm. with the, the best like just the best because if you're not bringing the best like you know one phrase that I use with people is you know are you full of yourself and you know that could seem as an arrogance but it isn't if you're not full of yourself and you're not ready to give how can you give to others if you're totally drained out so I do say Absolutely. that often yeah. you know you need to be able to make sure that you know you're full of yourself and you're able to give and be energized and um no so I can't thank you enough for being on the show tonight it's, it's been great to um have so many different things brought to my own attention of things that do um, align with what I believe in. And um, also I hope it's really opened people's eyes to something different that they may be not doing now, or it may just give someone an affirmation of what they're already doing. If they're working with you already and they're listening to the show and they go, you know what, these girls changed my life. Or maybe they had to show an auntie of what you're doing and they go, oh, okay, hmm. now I can try this and see if this is going to work for me. And then they actually get that, you know, that feeling of, okay, now I'm on the way to being not necessarily fixed, because we don't want to say fixed, as remember we said about being broken, but just going back to that natural state of abundance and whatever that abundance means to you, because we all have a different idea of what that word abundance means um, and what we're trying to create in our lives. So it's really good that, you know, what you're doing with people is um, – an absolute gift, and I know that that's how I felt when I found out more about what you did. And um, so, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, I'm going to talk a little thank bit you about so much. you know towards the end of the show here. Yeah, it's been great. So, honestly, do you want to give some um, information about your Facebook and your Instagram as well? Because um, I know you've talked about Twin Flame Revolution, but do you want people to find you on Facebook and Instagram? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, absolutely, Twin Flame Revolution on Facebook, also Instagram, same name. Um, And we do a lot of stuff around um, relationships, sacred union stuff on YouTube. So you can, you know, specifically, and we're going to be doing some broader stuff, but that's really what the focus is with the YouTube channel. But you could go to YouTube, check that out as well. Um, You know, and we're we're so excited that we got to be here. Thank thank you for having us, Sarah. No, honestly, it's been great. Honestly, thank you so much. And, you know, I will also, when I um, repost this show tomorrow, I will actually have all of your links and everything on there so that anybody that didn't quite write everything down or pay attention enough, then at least they're going to be able to um, get all of that, you know, so they can keep a hold of you still. So I'd like them to still be in touch with you there. Okay, thanks, ladies. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what I just want to sort of, what I want to... um, finish up with here is just thinking about focusing on your big picture that's something that I talk about a lot on my Instagram post on my Facebook page and focus on your big picture and dream big and whatever that means to you whatever that means to you is what you need to go with think about how you're going to put your goals together get somebody to help you whether that is a family member whether that is a coach whether that is even a book that you need to read to help you focus on your big picture because you know our intention is to be here for a long time So instead of just looking at what the next week is bringing or the next month is bringing, have a great look at what your whole life could bring. And I know that's one of the things that I do, and that's why it was so easy for me to pick the name for my show, calling it Create a Life You Love, because I thought that we could go down so many roads in what that meant. I didn't just want it to be a fitness show or a nutrition show um, or, you know, a life coach show. I wanted to be able to 
come in with lots of different ideas. So really, another thing that I'd like you to think about is surrounding yourself with positive people. When you surround yourself with people that are positive and have that great energy about them, they can lift you up so much. So I want you to think about who you're personally um, surrounding yourself with as well. I think that is just, um, you know, just so important. And make healthy choices. I really tend to practice what I preach. So I, I into doing food prep each week. And I have a background of doing fitness competitions many years ago. And um, I managed to get my pro card in that um, environment. I loved it. It made me very strict. It made me very disciplined. And 10 years later, having, having come out of that um, part of the, the fitness industry, I'm still doing food prep twice a week and keeping online with my nutrition, which in turn keeps me the body that I want the energy that I want, and, you know, I'm in my 40s now, and I want to be aging at a really, really great pace. So think about that. I've also done ultra marathons and full marathons before, and, again, that takes some dedication, that takes some practice, and it's all down to good nutrition. So when I think about, you know, what you're able to do um, throughout that time, you know, when I think about what you need to do throughout that time, with your nutrition, with your training, there's so much that you can create. So think about that. Now, what I'm actually going to be starting next year, I'm going to be starting retreats, women motivational retreats that are going to be one day and three day retreats here in Kelowna. So if you Google Kelowna BC, you're going to ask you see, it is um, my dream destination to live here. So I'm going to be doing those and the motivational um, days are going to be geared towards our life plans. We're going to talk about nutrition. We're going to talk about motivation. We're going to go through exercise and nutrition plans. I'm going to exercise with you, and any fitness level that you're at is going to be um, looked after. I don't think that if you're not too fit, you're not going to fit in. And if you think you are mega fit, that you're going to be too fit for everybody, you know, we will, well, I will be able to cater to the fittest of the fit as well because I'm really into the athletic side of things. Um, I'm also going to be offering coaching, um, 30-minute coaching calls um, over the next couple of weeks, I would probably say. Um, I'm looking to take on around 10 clients right now. I haven't really got time for any more than 10. But um, I will be offering 30-minute um, coaching calls with you so we can see what type of thing you want to do, what I can offer to you. So to get a hold of me, you need to get through to me on Facebook Messenger or call me on 250-864-2936. And we'll go to a 30-minute consultation on how – it would work for you to live your life with a positive mindset and really just to sort of get any, a lot of the time when I'm online and, um, you know, people want to ask me questions. So this is the opportunity to come on board with me, ask me questions that are going to help you ask me questions that you'd like to know about me and my experience with things and my, you know, my background in things. So do take advantage. You know, I love to talk. That's why I have no problem talking for an hour on here. And um, I do two minute videos every day on Facebook and, um, at the moment, I'm doing a 75 video series, and it's day 18 tomorrow. So I talk for two minutes because I think that everyone's got two minutes to listen to things. So I do my two minutes each day. Have a look at that, and I'm hoping there's something that I say that you take something away that you're able to use, and then um, hopefully that will motivate you. And also, I'm going to be doing VIP days. If you follow me regularly, you know that I travel a lot. So I am going to be doing um, VIP days when I travel where we will be going to a VIP destination, a beautiful condo or a penthouse suite um, at a hotel, and we will be going over a mastermind. We'll be doing a mastermind and going over things that are going to help you. So really, really keen to help everybody do this. It's something I'm absolutely passionate about. Um, I'm looking forward to the next show. This has been the second show here on Create a Life You Love with Sarah Shakespeare. It's been great. Um, I can't thank my guests enough for being on. Dove and Nicole were excellent. And then... Um, yeah, so I will see you again in two weeks' time. I have Crystal Hansen, the relationship rock star, coming up next on my next show. So I hope that you'll be tuning in to listen to that. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me on Facebook through my phone number, and I have my new website coming up. Okay, I'll see you next time.
Coach on Fire Radio. 